Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking at Deer Camp. It's a little cool outside, so it's kind of like we're at Deer Camp. Um, a little cooler than yesterday. Uh, today we're going to be cooking bacon, 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 and homemade hash browns. I'm going to be using my trusty 12 inch cast iron skillet with my trusty camp stove. So we're going to get a list of everything together that we're going to need, and we're going to get to cooking. So first we're going to need bacon. The second thing we're going to need is two very large potatoes or several medium sized potatoes. And to go with the potatoes to help uh, drain them, a clean towel, but since we're at deer camp this one came out from the seat of the truck which we use to wipe our hands with after we went fishing. Also with the potatoes we're going to need a cheese grater to make the hash browns. Okay, first we're going to open the bacon. I'm use a little skinner I got. That's deer camp pocket knife somewhere else. Open the bacon. That boy, that thing is short. Set this aside so it can be cleaned. Hopefully we don't cut ourselves on it. I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna light the fire. Now I like to put my bacon in in a cold pan and heat it up slowly, kind of like with the hash I made the other day. Get this lit. There we go. A low flame. Remember, never reach over the fire. Oh, make sure we get all the dust and debris out of the pan. Sorry for the camera, I'm by myself. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna take our bacon right here from the pan being cold it's gonna right down in there like that just the whole pound and one of the reasons why I like start from a cold pan is it gives us fat in the bacon time to kind of melt and then it just starts then you gradually heat the the heat up, the pan up, and then it starts frying and it's liquid goodness. This is meat candy for, you, for those who don't know. So, got the bacon started. We're just going to lay this out here. Just throw the whole pound in there. Trust me, this will cook up nice. Now, we need to go get a bottle of water to wash our bacon -y hands. Bacon. I have to just, just let it sit here and do its thing. And just every now and then kind of give it a, a shake. Believe me, it'll come out nice. See the coming up on the heat, oh, slow heat, like it got the fat. See, I don't know if you can see it right in there, yeah. What I'm talking about. All that goodness. Again, if you're a heart doctor, turn it off. The next thing we're going to do is peel the potatoes. I'm not going to bring you along for that because it's kind of boring. And it's just boring. And I'm going to cheat and use one of these. And use one of those. I'm just kind of flip the bacon around a little bit. Just kind of let it do its thing on a medium heat. I 
Alright, some of the bacon is getting done. I said just flip it over just like this. And if it looks like it's starting to curl up, I just kind of flip it over. And that'll help keep it straight. And as you can see, it's starting to crisp up. I hope you can see it. And then you got one that's twisted around. But we lay it down in there like that, and she'll straighten on up. And it's starting to crisp. Some people like their bacon burned. I personally not one of those folks. I like mine just a little bit on the crunchy side. Got a little uneven, uneven heat going on. That's fine. We can work around that. That's our first piece done. Like I like it. Now, it will continue to cook over here on the, the uh, paper towel. So it, it will continue to cook. So take them off just right before you think they're to the point you want them. Because they will continue to crisp up even after you take them off the fire. Here's another one. They're all going to start coming off one by one. Okay. All the bacon is just about done. Now once we get this out of the pan, we're going to move on to grating the potatoes. Uh, we filled them. I put them in some water to keep them from turning brown on us. So we're going to get them out here in just a minute and grate them up for you. And I'll show you how I do it. That one's done. And this stuff, don't pour it out. You're going to need it next. Again, if you're a cardiologist, heart doctor, move away. Turn it off, back away. Okay. I'm going to take the towel that we pulled up from the cedar truck that we wiped our hands off with when we went fishing. Take your potato and grate it. Now these two potatoes are going to make a lot of hash browns. Be careful when you do this, you don't want to take the tip of your finger off. I didn't do that, by the way. This was about happened years ago, working on a hip bulldozer. Alright, that looks like enough for one. Put that back in the water. One serving. Now we're going to take the towel. We're going to wring much water out as possible. You want this as dry as it can be before it goes in to the pan. Alright, now our bacon grease is good and hot. That's why you want to save it. Take this and just scatter it into the bacon grease. Be careful when you do that with your hands because you can burn yourself. Now, if you want fried eggs to go along with this, you can fry them up in the bacon grease too. Let that crisp up. A good rule of thumb is if it sticks together, Probably about ready to flip. I'll let that side brown up. 
and we'll put it on the uh, paper towel to dry. Now you really don't have to add any seasoning to this salt and pepper or whatnot. You can probably add some pepper, but all the seasoning that you can ever possibly want is right here in this stuff. I never said it was healthy. I just said it was good. Now that one's about done, so we're going to put in another one. And then we're going to go get a plate and do a wrap up. Oop. Keep your towel out of the fire. I don't recommend using your hands like I do. Matter of fact, don't do that at home, please. Somebody gonna get burnt? Well, I seen him do it on YouTube. All right. Put this one back over. Get a little bit crisper. I think that one's done. Take that one out. Set it there to drain a little bit. Get all these pieces out so they don't burn and smell. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Another episode of Cooking at Deer Camp. Bacon, meat, candy. And my hash brown. Very good. Give it a try. Never said it was healthy. I only said it was good. Till next time. See you later.